Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. I'm an astronomer and I study ufology. I'm from Montreal, Quebec. Light systems on the surface of the moon where we're seeing lights in different areas, miles and miles apart or kilometers apart, lighting up simultaneously. We're gonna go back to this very um, piece of footage and I'm gonna to explain to you why further down in the video. My friends, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see Copernicus Crater on the side of Copernicus Crater, an exiting UFO leaving the inside of the crater. That's going to be very interesting. Always interesting seeing the UFOs on the surface of the moon. And these lights are not just traveling across the surface. They look like they are appearing and disappearing directly from where they appear. Watch. Here it is appearing, or should I say, starting to appear on the surface. And listen, guys, do you know how lucky I am to be able to show this to you, to have caught that different illumination and not just look at a spot on the surface? Because a lot of people are saying, oh, Bruce shows blurs. No, he doesn't. He shows the truth. <laughs> Anything blurry is a cloud. There's nothing blurry here. Watch this. You want to see this? Watch this, my friends. Another UFO is going to appear beside it, a line between them, and poof. This is serious. Either alien, extraterrestrial, or secret project stuff going on on the moon. No tampering with the videos. It's simple, straight up color filters that are over regular footage and inversion shots, and it's not being tampered with at all. Look at what's going to happen here. We're going to slow it down. A black line and then another light at the end of this UFO, but all the smoke on the surface. So I have many, many captures of seeing smokes and hazes on the surface of the moon. It's absolutely incredible uh, the amount that I have captured. So if you capture one incident, like of this, for example, a UFO lighting up and changing um, areas, I could have caught this only once on the moon, but I've caught it more than once on the moon. More incidents of uh, lights, more events where there's lights lighting up on the surface. We're going to look at an explosion on the surface of the moon. And don't forget, Copernicus Crater will have a UFO coming out of the crater. This is a really cool video. Very happy to get this up for you all. So what do you think of this? UFOs on the surface um, lifting up puffs of clouds of smoke and they're moving at fast, fast speeds. If they're really close to the surface, could it be a transportation system or something? It's just absolutely mind boggling when you think of it. Remember this capture where it looks like two panels are closing up on the UFO that was hovering over my house? I'm not making any of this up, my friends. As um, crazy as some of these captures uh, sound, take a good look at all the proof and amazing captures and more on the way because I'm uh, always filming outside and again I got more footage I have to look through with um, from the infrared more captures of UFOs that we're going to see May, uh, I still have footage of the Perseid shower I haven't even checked to see if I've gotten it yet that's how busy I've been um, keeping up with the videos just uh, amazing captures I'm not gonna stop you guys are so very supportive to the channel I can't thank you all enough now, I could linger for many, many videos on these captures, and I'm just scooting through them. In this video, there are 15 to 20 different captures, maybe 10 to 15 different really good captures. And look here, UFO on the right, that red light as it's flaring up. But look what's happening on the left. A little object lights up. It's not little, but it's far away. It looks little. Watch this. Watch it light up. We're going to zoom in so now it looks like uh, we're swooping over, swooping over right, but in reality, we're zooming in. And there's the fire on the surface of the moon. And not just the fire, guys and gals, beside the UFO. Here's one while I was setting up, okay, out of focus. Imagine, and I still caught it. Here are the famous watermelon seeds that we see flying by the moon. But the problem is those watermelon seeds are close to us. They're not on the moon. And this capture, where we see it very hard to see, but we see everything under the haze. That's a UFO under the haze. Let's get right to it. Copernicus Crater, the capture of a white illuminating UFO leaving the 
very edge of Copernicus Crater. We're going to see it different angles. I'm going to slow it down. Here is my favorite angle. There it is, UFO coming out of Copernicus Crater. Real live footage, no manipulation, and it's a capture. Like, look on the left, the darkness is the inside of the crater. So we're right on the ledge. So there are holes on the sides all around Copernicus Crater, possibly. I know there's one here because out of the darkness comes out uh, an illuminating UFO. We're going to try to get it even closer um, to see that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to with the footage, but that's just incredible. Right there, there we go, right in front of us right beside Copernicus, and not that bad of an image either. You really have to understand that we're right on the surface, right pressed up, right? So Copernicus Crater, UFO exiting Copernicus Crater. Tell your friends if they're interested in seeing UFOs. Well, uh, I just caught one. See the black spot at the end of the light? I love looking at the details. See that? There's a black spot at the end of the light. Well, that's the UFO possibly, and that illumination is the um, is the craft propelling itself so many types even uh, of ufos even ufos my friends with gases on the surface speaking of uh, structures on the surface of the moon look at all the connections that are on the surface that have the same reflectivity as as the surface it's not impossible uh to understand exactly why people are not seeing the structures and that's exactly it here's a close-up of some craters aren't they extraordinary eh? well I'll tell you what they sure do not look like craters to me the more we zoom up that's for sure we're gonna zoom up here over to the right where there are lines on the surface along the Terminator line fascinating check it out now we can see these lines one beside the other some of them even look broken up what are they we see lines passing over tycho crater we see them near copernicus crater that i've shown many lines going over the craters archimedes crater has lines now what do you think this area could be look at all the connections it's the area inside of the apennine mountains we're right inside the apennine mountains and we're seeing what looks like um an area where there's all these um connections that meet up at in one area we could see the lines going by side by side and what even looks like a tunnel it almost looks like a train station right when you're looking at it here i call it the guitar okay because you see the strings the lines going over top of this massive these massive symmetrical or constructed or anomalies that are on the surface what are they i don't know hard to see sure but isn't it fascinating that all these look at the energy source at the end all these things could be remnants or or maybe even possibly active areas on the moon maybe someone's up there so here's another interesting scary very scary moment seeing a light on the surface I'm going to zoom in really, really slow, and we're going to go see that flash as it's going to appear, and we're going to go see other flashes um, on the surface of the moon. These aren't flashes that appear every 10 seconds there. You got to look for them. Of course, may, sometimes you'll go up and you'll not see it. There it is, and we saw an amazing flash. But now, let's find out if that flash is close to the moon or if it's closer to Earth. Well, we have our proof, and that fast, yes it is actually on or near the surface because as uh, at the same time as it illuminates watch the other areas on the moon illuminate at the same time thus proving to me that either that all those three areas are the reason why those lights are blinking flashing uh, maybe it's ufos changing areas maybe it's illuminated areas on the surface that are lighting up for ufos to land there but does it not intrigue you it's absolutely incredible and they lit up simultaneously here an explosion on the surface or a stationary point that illuminates and it's in slow motion look at that nasa shows you asteroids crashing and meteors crashing on the moon well this is the same exact thing that i'm showing but the problem is there are many of them and i'm seeing activity around it you see another black spot right beside here there we go that is a pretty big 
explosion, my friends, or UFO illumination. Let me tell you, it's at least two miles wide because of the way um, my focal length is and as close as I am with my telescope. It's the real thing, my friends. There are UFOs on the moon. The more we share these videos, the more uh, people will come and will be interested in this. I really appreciate, appreciate your help for sharing these videos. Thanks a lot, everybody. gonna tell the world come on pentagon Houston, say again, please. <laughs>